Right. Today is a rare event. We're getting a few of those now. We don't have to hook up uh, to leave very often in the rain. But today is one of those occasions when we're having to do that. It's not raining hard. Uh, we've got to hit the road today. It's been a nice uh, three uh, days here, a couple of days here. So um, we've enjoyed it. Uh, weather hasn't really cooperated that great to do a lot of stuff. But we've seen the area and that's been really nice. So it's, uh, you know, you take the good with the bad. So each time we hook up and disconnect, it's always unique. At least for us, it's um, usually not always level. You know, the terrain is different. Sometimes it's concrete, pavement. Uh, sometimes it's sand, gravel. So it's, it's always something new, something different, and each one presents, you know, little minor challenges. But we enjoy it. A lot of fun to get to some of these areas and see some unique places. Someone whacked this tree pretty good. Welcome to the channel. Yes, welcome. Uh, had several days of rain. Snow. So, and snow. And it's, so it's fitting as we leave this nice little campground that it is raining today. Yeah. We would have stayed, but we've got some, some obligations to attend to so that our time critical, so. That's right. Thankfully, it wasn't raining really hard. Yeah, just a obnoxious drizzle rain yeah so uh, it's raining in the that's desert that's pretty good yeah which is great and it's pretty green out yeah. here in the desert mm -hmm. uh, now also you guys there's still a few of you out there <laughs> all right i need you to hit that subscribe button and even if you don't like the videos just humor me you know so hit that subscribe button and watch us that one or two more, you know? And if you don't like it, then that's okay. <laughs> so we're heading south into Arizona because we're still in California right yeah. now. So no time change, thank goodness, because it's after the spring forward. That's right. And uh, we're gonna meet some uh, friends mm -hmm. and, uh, and just do a- meet some friends of the channel as well. Yeah, and just do a, a, a few little fun things in, uh, in Tucson uh -huh. is where we're heading. And- Prep. I'm gonna get some, a Whataburger. Oh <laughs> That's right. Cause they've got them in Tucson. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. Oh, that's right. And they have a new scrapbook store there too, uh -huh. so. It's not too far from Whataburger. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> I'll drop you off at the scrapbook store. And then, yeah, then we have a prep for something that we're gonna do in a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. A little nervous about that one, but yeah. we'll see. We're gonna we'll try see. get everything prepped in Tucson. We're gonna and try a different route this time. A different approach. Yeah, it'll be interesting, but that'll be in a couple weeks. Yeah. So. All right, we're gonna keep on trucking down the road and get out of Mojave. Hopefully we'll see some sun today. So tonight I've got a spot for us selected for our overnight, okay. which is good. Mm -hmm. The bad news, and I'm, I'm a little worried about it. You're worried about it? Yeah, I'm a little worried about it. Okay. <laughs> so what so does, what that, does that, that say? Mean? Yeah, <laughs> it means you're freaking right now. Um, well, it's yeah, I don't a, know. You haven't told me yet. Yeah, it's a harvest host, and it's on a 
a vacant lot. So, so far that sounds pretty good. It's two and a half acres. Oh yeah, we should fit. Yeah, so, but the problem is, is there's a kind of a creek wash that sort of bisects the lot. And it's a single lane road that accesses this lot. Um, there's bushes on either like side, driveway, kind of. It's a road, but it's a neighborhood. I don't know if there's room so for us to a, back a in. A one lane to a one lane road? No, a two lane to a one lane. That's three lanes. We yeah. have three and a half lanes. Yeah, but we have some shoulders and there is an apron. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm a little concerned about it. Uh, and also, I'm not sure if, if we go in head first, if we can turn around. Because of the wash that bisects Be Because the of the lot. wash and the, the bushes and, the, and some so vegetation. We're need to yeah, back. so we'll, we'll definitely have to check it out before we commit 100%. And um, you said there's shoulders, but it's dirt. Shoulders, but it's and dirt. You, you want to do that after what just happened back at Lake Mead Rec <laughs> area when I found the one and only soft spot. Yeah, that's water. why you're not driving. <laughs> <laughs> first time in almost three months okay. we've turned eastbound East. on I-10 yep we're and, alive and we're not gonna really stop till we hit the East Coast until we actually do hit the coast yeah <laughs> so we're going cross-country for the next what two months two months yeah, yeah. so that'll be uh, it's kind of different because Whenever we start our trip out here, mm -hmm. I'm used to west, west, west. Mm -hmm. And now when we make that turn, I got to, you know, get my mind turned back around literally to going eastbound. Right. So does this mean our southwest tour is over? Not quite, because we're still going to be in the southwest yeah, for the next we're couple weeks. Tucson, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And then um, that other little And we're going to be trip. in the real southwest. Yeah, in, a couple in, of weeks. in another couple of weeks, yeah. Okay. okay. But then after that, yes. Then we're heading west, so then our exactly. our southwest tour is over, and then our east coast tour starts. Yes, that is cool. correct. So there has been so much rain. It just, it's green and yellow, and I know we've mentioned that before. And we just passed a sign that says, um, blowing dust ahead and this is a very dusty area we've been through here before with dust storms but with all this greenery vegetation and there's even I'll call it grass that's yeah, out there a thin layer a of very grass. thin layer of grass um, wow, it's just so <laughs> so lush out here <laughs> can't believe I'm saying that but it's it's really pretty all the flowers are starting to bloom so at least we don't have to worry about any dust right now. It's like we're in Alaska again. Oh, it is. We're sporting the Alaska two-tone. <laughs> Ugh. So we checked out the spot for tonight that I had some concerns and questions about. <laughs> so I think I think we could get in. You're a phenomenal driver, let me tell you, but I did not feel comfortable. Yeah, I think for a various and a sundry reasons, mm -hmm. uh, it was probably not the best choice yeah. for tonight. I mean, having to back down that that ro row, the gravel alleyway right next to a fence, which it's a straight back end, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's tight with all the bushes and, but because of all the greenery, there's just a lot of rabbits, yeah. which means they're the bottom of the food chain, and I bet there's some really cool wildlife out here. Yes. Yeah, probably some coyotes and a few yeah. other things. Um, so, but it just, I don't know. 
I just got a weird feeling about it. Yeah, not meant to be for tonight. No. So we will head on towards our destination for tomorrow mm -hmm. and we'll just stop along the way. We've done this yeah. route enough that we have... <laughs> We've got a lot of spots. Yeah, numerous places where we can uh, yeah. overnight yep. and mm -hmm. so that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get some fuel at Petro to make sure that we don't have to worry about it later. And we're going to get a truck wash too. And then maybe a truck wash because we're pretty dirty on oh, the outside. Yeah. And then maybe we've stayed here before on the front lot yeah. where. So all the trucks like park. to sleep, sleep, <laughs> park in the, um, they sleep there too. They, they park over there in the truck parking area and no one likes to stay over here, I guess because it's by the interstate, but we have overnighted there, but no one else likes to be there. No. Wow, they got some rain. Look at that. The puddles. Oh, no kidding. Wow. Wow, look at that water over there. Oh that. my goodness. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's why no one's parking underneath the sign because it's probably underwater. We will go check it out. Had a nice quiet night last night. But it is time for us to head out and this is our last uh, stop today we're going to be at the rv resort we're going to be for about a week in tucson but before we get there man we got to give voyager and orion a bath i mean they are nasty we went through some roads in air in california that yeah they had dust on them and then it rained and then we got like almost mud on uh, the side of the rig so uh, they're gonna get a well-deserved bath at the car wash, well actually. Isn't there a song about that? Yeah, really, at the truck wash. Yeah. And we're getting towards the end of it. We learned something new today. Mm -hmm. um, so they gave us a choice of brightener or non, or classic. So it was brightener or classic wash. Yeah. And I'd never heard that before. So I said, or I said classic and it was, I'm sorry. It was non, brightener or classic wash yeah never heard of that mm -hmm. and so i chose classic and he goes okay and then sandra said no acid make sure so i asked him he goes oh yeah the classic has acid i'm like oh then no brightener but now they're calling the acid brightener yeah i guess that sounds better yeah i'd rather put brightener on my rig than acid yeah so we're getting close to the end and, and going to be heading out. We've got about a big 70 miles today. So we'll get in early and get settled and start our week in Tucson. David always likes to check the, deep, check the uh, deer guard to make sure it's latched right and that the hood is down properly. Just never know. All good? All good. Hood is latched and the deer guard is secure. So, not that I don't trust them, but you know. It's always good to double check. Yes, exactly. Before we get on the road and something starts flying up in the air. Yeah. So, all washed, clean. Ready nice. to go. Hit the Let's road. Go. Resort on the left. Second was at 11. There's no time on this sheet of paper. Thank you. 
Are you our escort? No, but I'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You show us the way. We have some friends staying here at this Voyager RV park, uh, Encore Thousand Trails. I'm not sure which one it is. And they said there's a big tree in our lot. So David and our escort went to go check it out. And then they're going to come back and then uh, figure out how we're going to get into the site. But we'll probably have to back out. But that's okay because we always end up doing that anyhow. Um, so anyhow, we'll wait. And then while I'm waiting, I'm going to check out the paperwork that they gave us. Well, are we going to be able to fit around the tree? Uh, the tree doesn't even come into play. Oh, excellent. Yeah, and uh, if... Um, now, getting out, we'll probably have to back out. Yeah. But getting in, no. It doesn't even enter into it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unless we're talking, worried about shading some solar. <laughs> Well, solar's not the power is not the issue right now. So uh, unfortunately, they had some water issues, and uh, all the park is without water right now. And this is why we always, even if we're coming into a campground, we with always full hookups. with full hookups, we always come in with water in our tanks. And, always. And Voyager has water, what 55 gallons of water in Voyager. So yeah. here, so we're we're good to go. So is this us right here? Yep. So we're here at the site, easy to get into. It was a straight shot. Not real wide, so it is kind of tight here. <laughs> no doubt about it. Because of our size, uh, and most people aren't gonna have to worry about this necessarily, but it's always a good idea just in case. So sometimes the electrical outlet is too far for us. In this case, we've had to pull on the back part of the law of the site which means the electrical is way up near the front which is about 40 feet away but we've got our power back here right but I've also got power up in the front and that's how we design this just in case so if you guys remember from the uh, tour of the rig uh, this is a 50 amp plug and I put that there just for instances like this when the utilities are up near the front and we're in the back because sometimes they do that for like motor homes and things of that nature because there'll be more of their utilities and such might be up near the front at least the electrical so but no problem I've got an extra cord and an adapter and we're good to go so I've connected electric uh, turn it on and then I'll check our surge protector make sure that it's on right there the lights so uh, it is testing the electrical and if it passes enough voltage and such then it'll uh, release power to the trailer and then we're good to go Next week we are going off on a little adventure a big adventure actually and unfortunately, we're not going to be anywhere where David will be able to upload a video for Thursday. So he has to work on two videos, one for this Thursday and one for next Thursday. So being the wonderful wife and partner that I am, I got out of the house and I'm running some errands. And I just happened to come across a scrapbook store. So I'm going to go check it out. Okay, this is my happy place. Okay, well, I wasn't that bad. Here in Tucson for a week, we are here to get some things done, see some friends, uh, have some dinners with them, uh, meet some friends of the channel. That are now our new friends. Yeah! So we uh, met with... Um, and both of these were at Whataburger. <laughs> you guys are troopers. You really are. Oh, they loved it. They loved it. 
So uh, we uh, had lunch with uh, Russ and Barb, mm -hmm. and that was really nice. And then today uh, we had lunch with Doug mm -hmm. and Lena. Lena. Mm -hmm. So that was really neat. Uh, nice people, and uh, spent some time chatting. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot of fun. It's fun to get to know you guys. Yeah, yeah. So it's neat. They reached out. And we're uh, both were here in the Tucson area, and we said, "Yeah, let's let's get together." And and they actually suggested Whataburger. Well, I think they did. They didn't. <laughs> I said, "If you left it up to David, he's going to pick Whataburger." Yeah, duh. <laughs> so we're also uh, getting caught up from like boondocking. Mm -hmm. uh, off and on, we did. Man, we did, what, 30 days, one stretch, and we did, like, mm -hmm. a couple of weeks and another stretch. And so, yeah, we're just getting kind of caught up from all that. But we're also prepping for our next big adventure. Yes. And we're not going to say anything just yet. Because it may not happen. That's right. But we're going we're gonna to try to sneak in. Yeah. We're prepping for it, so well, you guys will find out later. He's getting us ninja stuff so we can go into stealth mode. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, it's cold right. out here. <laughs> <gasps> All right, folks, you saw that correctly. It's 8.30 in the morning. Sandra is up. She's dressed. She's fed. She's got a camera around her neck. <laughs> yeah, you're not dreaming, and neither is she. I wish I were. <laughs> we're well, going. I'm living the dream. We're going to the Arizona Sonora Museum this morning because she found out there's animals there. There are otters there, river otters. Yeah, so we're heading there this morning while it's cool, and it is cool this morning, mm -hmm. and check out the animals to see how active they are. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Arizona Desert Sonora Museum is busy this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Today's Thursday, and I'm not going to say the parking lot's full, not by any stretch. It'll be in about half an hour. But maybe. man, people are coming this morning. Popular place. And the drive up here through the Tucson Mountain Park, oh, that was pretty. That was really neat. I can't wait to stop and take pictures of all that stuff. <laughs> but we didn't because she wants to see the animals. So we might do a lot of walking today. <laughs> Just to hit the animals? Yeah, so I want to come over here and get the mountain lions and then maybe we can come back here. And where are we? We're right here. Oh, okay, so, so that's right almost here. close. Yeah. Saunders on a mission. This is really pretty though. And not good form where the flower is on the female once it's pollinated in the air on the male.
are walking through the cactus garden here. So let me make a point about this garden. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sharp layout. <laughs> You know, you are such a thorn in my side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gotcha. that's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, so since Sandra took off her jacket, I guess I don't, I don't get a chance to needle her about wearing it in the desert. <laughs> oh, Lord help me. Walking through the desert museum area reminds me of how the desert is really pretty, very beautiful, but it's also based on survival. Everything here wants to survive. Everything here has like a thorn or a barb or a sticker and sticker. not that kind of sticker. <laughs> It's just they want to get out there and they want to grab you or they want to keep you away. It's, yeah, there's a lot of prickly stuff out here. Sandra wants to get a bird and a cactus because of a sticker. Oh, so Jerry, I'm She's that. cheating. This is just in case. This is the backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 I think the bighorn had an argument and they didn't agree on something. They were butting heads. <laughs> I know. <laughs> The reason why Sandra got up early this morning and we were out of the house at 8.30 was this habitat right here. It's for a river otter. The empty habitat. Yes. So, okay, so when we went to Palm Springs, the Living Desert Zoo had a map and on that map, they had little pictures of the animals and one of them, I thought was a river otter. And I think we had that in a video from last year, year before last, but um, 
Yeah, it looked like a river lotter and it was more like an iguana. But this time, the sign says river otter. Yes, and, and we were wondering what is a river otter doing in a desert museum mm -hmm. in the Sonoran Desert. But yeah. they said that this used to have a larger uh, aquatic right. uh, habitat because of a river and such. Yeah, there's like some creek or river that, w that ran through here. Yeah. And this is a, a symbol of the otter habitat from years ago before that's right human came in and ruined it well and took all the water before it <laughs> yeah, got here yeah. and then created a big desert yeah but no river otter there, no. it's here but it's just not out do it oh yeah Oh, the chain of wonders. <laughs> Hummingbirds, where are they? Towards the end of the day, we're gonna finish it off with the Desert Loop Trail. Maybe see some more birds. So one of the last things that Sandra wants to try to get here is a picture of a bird. Sticking its little head. Going in or sticking its head out of a cactus. I'll even take a butt picture right now. <laughs> oh, oh. So there was one right there. So we were walking down the trail and we saw two actually come out of a swallow with a hole that had a hole in it. And now we just saw one go in. So maybe we're waiting on the second one because we were just talking, how long do you wait? You get them? Oh man, I don't know, but he was in there. All right, folks, I think you just saw the picture that Sandra's been waiting on today. I think we got it. Let's go check and see if she got it or not. And if she didn't, she's in trouble because I think I got it on video. All right. Well, so. All right, did you get it? Yeah, I got his little head. Unfortunately, right. it's light shining in the shade so you can see always that something no 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 he's in there you can see him and i got him in flight nice flying away all right cool so now i have to see if this is the right bird because if he matches what? the one in my sticker or my scrapbook paper okay yeah you got a bird color that darn sticker to match the bird that we just saw there he is again. Did he go inside? No. He's on the Ocotillo. We're going to take a selfie, but real quick. Nice day in the desert. Sandra got all kinds of pictures. She's going to be spending hours tonight going through them. All night. <laughs> yeah, and me too on the videos. <laughs> we do it to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we do all the time. So just down from the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum is a Saguaro National Park. West. Or west, the Red Hill Visitor Center. So all this 
for a sticker. Yeah, so we've been here before, but technically the museum is kind of, sort of, somewhat in the National Park area. Sort of. Sort of. This is kind of like what deserves a sticker, you know, when you have the map of the United States, and if you drive through it, do you deserve to put a sticker on that map? This is kind of like that. Stickers, huh? All right, we're gonna go inside and see if we can find one of those things. Getting ready for our next adventure. Tomorrow we're leaving. We're gonna head a little further south from Tucson. And I've got uh, some water to put in the truck and I've got uh, some burgers to cook. Actually, that's what I'm doing right now. And we're going to uh, get a few things done and head out and, you know, always uh, a few things to plan and, and prepare for. Sandra's off at Walmart getting some food and some supplies as well because it's going to be a few days before her next uh, stop at a nice uh, Walmart or a store or something. David and I had a little planning session yesterday for our little adventure and then I discovered that the next time I get to go to a Walmart is going to be in 10 days so I gotta figure out how to make all this fresh produce and milk last for that 10 days and not expire. So it's gonna be interesting, but this Walmart is a smaller Walmart and the Cheerio selection is quite small. So David's gonna be, he'd be really proud. Too bad he's not here. He's uh, back at home grilling burgers to stock the freezer with. So it's probably a good thing he's not here. Well, I just finished with Walmart and I got almost everything that I needed, I hope and the milk expires on April 6th. We should be okay. Chancellor will have it all drunk, drink, drink, drunk. We should have it all drunk by then, but um, it's gonna be cutting it close. So I got in the car and that reminded me that David said that we needed to get fuel. And one thing that we try to always do is on our next stop, um, we always want to make sure the car is completely full because, you know, the last thing we want to do is when we get somewhere, um, we drop the car, well, you know, not literally, but we drop the car and then um, we don't want to have to be searching for a fuel station. So we like to always have the car up on the truck with a full tank. Of course, I always like full tanks on everything except for the waste tanks. So I'm going to head to the fuel station get some gas and then head home and we're going to load the car and continue buttoning up. Okay, that is way, way better than filling the truck. So I had a little rain last night. Not bad. It uh, sounded nice. And uh, thankfully not raining this morning. We're getting ready to hook up and head a little further south. But one of the things I'm hoping that uh, those toppers that we uh, scheduled for June to have installed on our slides, I'm hoping that they will also uh, keep me off the roof because that's right. I'm going to squeegee the slide tops because we get a little bit of water that sits up there. And I've got to squeegee it off so it doesn't all come inside. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping those toppers will uh, alleviate that issue that they'll squeegee the top of the slide when we pull it in. And then, then I won't have to go back up on the roof, especially on like mornings like this. It's a little chilly. It's like 49 degrees right now. Out here. Aren't you 
We left uh, Voyager, mm -hmm. um, no issues. It was really simple to get back uh, out of there. Yeah, straight back in. Yeah. Not back in. Back straight out. Straight back out, yeah. Yeah, so that was uh, really nice. You know, we, we really enjoyed the week there, went by fast. It went by way too fast. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, full hookups are, are really nice. You know, let you get caught up with some things and uh, do some laundry and things of that Chores, nature. cleaning. But they're really nice, but there is a price to pay mm -hmm. for full hookups. Yes. You know, and that is the views sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like almost zero. Uh, pretty tight. Yeah. A lot of times when, you know, most full hookup campgrounds, and understandably, I mean, they, you know, they got to improve their productivity, but they're tight and you're like right on top of your neighbor. Yeah. So. And that's one reason why we really enjoy dry camping or, mm -hmm. or boondocking. Yeah, because you mean, just can spread out. You've got beautiful views. You're not sitting on top of your neighbor. Yeah, generally more quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just a really nice, peaceful kind of a Yeah. Uh, I think the way camping to, was meant to be. I think so, yeah. yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> we're heading south. Yep. We are heading towards the border. Yep. Capture. So you guys need to appreciate when you see a nice photo, the effort Sandra goes through, and sometimes me, to get that shot. Oh, were you just doing that? <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> well, it gets rainbowy. And it, you know, it just. Yeah. But look how pretty that is. The sun's just not right. Need to adjust the sun, apparently. Yes. <laughs> Lost or I 